Hello and welcome to Pump Deck's tutorial on the 350U pump rebuild. In this tutorial we'll be taking apart our 350U pumps, replacing the parts inside, and putting them back together. For this rebuild we will be using kits A and B. In kit A we have two seal rings, two support rings, four 024 O-rings, a packet of grease, two 117 O-rings, two 124 O-rings, a plunger, two plunger guides, and two U-cups. In kit B we have more grease, four 116 O-rings, four M-valves, and eight white washers. The tools that we will need for this rebuild are a towel, that grease from kits A and B, a 3 16 hex wrench, a small screwdriver, and some water. All right, let's take apart our pump. First, we will turn our pump onto the manifold. That way we can undo the bolts. So we'll take our 3 16 hex wrench and unscrew those bolts and those stainless steel washers and put those to the side. Now we'll flip our pump back onto the heads and take off the manifold. With the manifold, there should be four white washers. Um, if not on the manifold still, they'll be on those valves. So we'll just put those four white washers to the side and we'll take off our valves and our O-rings. Underneath those four valves and four O-rings, there should be four more white washers. This is what kit B will replace. Now that our valve ports are cleared, we can take our heads off of the plunger and it should just slide off relatively easily. The first thing that might pop off is the 124 O-rings, and we'll try to get our plunger guides off next. And if they don't come off with your finger, you put your finger in there and just try to pull it out. Then you might need to use the plunger, and we'll just kind of wiggle it back and forth, kind of make a circle, and it should slowly come out. With that plunger guide, there should be the 024 O-rings around them, and then the next thing will be the support ring and U-cup. Those should just pop out with your finger, and the last thing in there should be a small thin O-ring, another 024 O-ring. As you took out the retainer plate, the, the metal plate holding everything in, there should have also been a seal ring and a 117 O-ring. Okay, let's put everything back together. So we're going to use kit A, and we'll first lightly grease that thin O-ring, the 024 O-ring. Once that is greased, we're going to stick it inside the seal bore, or the, the pump head, the opening. We call that the seal bore, and that should slide all the way to the bottom and fit down in the bottom. Next is the U-cup, and it might be a little tough, maybe a little rigid at first, so it might be a little hard to push in. So we're going to take it and we're going to put the flat side facing out. So the, the wider edge that has the ridges will be into the pump, as seen here. And so we'll want that as far as you can get it down in there. The support ring should just fit perfectly uh, in there. There's a rounded edge on the support ring, and that fits on that rounded inside of the U-cup. Next, we will take our large O-ring, or the 124 O-ring, and we will lightly grease this with the grease from kit A, and kind of rub it around, and just place it on the opening of the seal bore. The plunger guide and the another 024 O-ring will be going into that opening. So let's assemble that. We have our plunger guide and we will grease our O24 O-ring and position that O-ring around the plunger guide in that divot that you see there. Now with the smaller portion oriented into the pump, we're gonna push that plunger guide into the pump. But you wanna make sure that it's sitting flush with that the seal bore opening. With that in place, we can grab our retainer plate and the seal ring and 117 O-ring. So you may grease the seal ring to keep it in place, but I, I don't. I just put it on that opening and I press that seal ring concentrically within that 117 O-ring. So they're together. And with those in place, we can slide our retainer plate over the seal bore opening. And you want to make sure that everything stays in place. If it doesn't go in, you might have something out of place and you have to reposition and, and get that so it fits right. Make sure you're doing this for both sides. And now we'll grab our new plunger, grease the ends a little bit, and slide them inside each head. With our valve pockets towards us on the heads, you'll want the plunger slot facing away from us and centered, as seen in this picture. Now would be a good time to put that H channel, if your pump has one, on top of the pump. So when we put our pumps together, we put a sticker on the outlet side of the pump. That's how we denote the top or the outlet side. And so our H channel is going to go on the outlet side. Now that our heads are connected with that plunger, we can put in the washers, valves, and O-rings into our valve pockets. So we will now grab our manifold, put that near the pump heads, and grab four white washers and place those in the valve pockets on the heads. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and we'll put our valves next. And so like I said, the orientation is important. So we want our X's on top nearest that sticker, nearest that H channel, and we want our O's below that. So we'll have X's across from each other and O's across from each other. Next is the 116 O-ring. 
strings, and we'll put one, two, three, four around each valve. We're gonna take our four remaining white washers and put those on the manifold, and we're gonna spray the valve pockets on the manifold with the water, or just dab water if you don't have a spray, that's fine. And we're gonna slide those white washers into place. That's so when we flip our manifold over, the white washers don't get dislodged and out of place. Now we'll flip the whole thing over so we can put the bolts in place. Um, you wanna double check that everything is the right distance apart so our seals are correct, and now we will put those bolts and stainless steel washers onto the heads to secure our heads to our manifolds. So we use our wrench to do that, and we'll flip it onto the side so we can see if our sticker and our H channel are in the right spot. So if you look into the ports, if they're open, you may be able to see that the valve is an X facing out on the sticker and H channel side on the top there. This has been the 350U pump rebuild tutorial. Thanks for joining us. If you have any other questions, please visit our website, refer to our other videos, or give us a call here at PumpTech. Thanks and have a great day.